So you don't have to spray this finish. You can do a brush only finish. It's a little bit more difficult because you're going inside of a bucket, putting it on and it's going heavy initially versus a spray. No matter what we hit this with a brush, we're going to back brush it even if we spray it. But when we spray it, we get a nice consistent coating and we just back brush it. Versus here, you know, you have a big blob and then you, you try to work into the surface. So um, it takes a little bit more brush work and a little bit more detail, a detailed eye to know what looks good and a nice consistent finish. More or less what you're trying to do is get it on there, on the surface, completely filled in. And then you come back through it and you tip it off just lightly. Kind of look at it, make sure it looks like it's an even coating and it's not thick in certain areas. And then you kind of move on to your next area. And you're going to be doing from the natural end point from one board to the next where it's cut off here. And then I'm going to work on this piece and then this piece and then these inside pieces. Um, and then we're going to be brushing this up here and then spraying this down below. So we'll, mass, we'll cover this with a shield right here to protect the glass. And then we'll spray everything down below later. So I don't want to come back down here as I'm brushing this because then it's going to get two coats. It's going to look a little uneven. So I'm going to try to cut this in as neatly as I can as I'm doing the application so it's, we get a nice even coat. And up top here, you want to make sure that you get a brush up underneath that seal. And with this finish, whether you're spraying it and back brushing or brushing it only, you can't just apply it and then leave it. You have to babysit it for a little bit to make sure there's no sags or it hasn't kind of pulled and collected in corners and it's started to drip. So before you walk away from it, you're going to want to kind of take a look at it for about 15, 20 minutes and uh, make sure it's good. So I can see a couple areas where my brush hit the side of the panel as I was brushing this, um, this inset piece. So I'm going to come back around and check it again. Just brush it in a little bit more. I'm going to take a rag that's got a little bit of thinner on it and I'm going to clean this glass up. There's a little bit of residue or a little bit of film that's left on there from the gel stripper that we had applied. And we're going to clean it this with a little bit of thinner. We're also going to clean it with some window cleaner. So we have part of our video cut out on us um, during the spray application. But what we did was we held a cardboard shield at the point in which we stopped with the brush and use that as a guard. And then we sprayed it on with a 517 tip. We are using a Titan 440. Uh, the pressure is set very low down into the, the stain dial area. Uh, my guess is it's probably around 1000 PSI. And we're using the cardboard shield just to guard the glass to make sure we don't get any oil overspray on that glass. And then um, we back brush everything, so it probably takes about 30 minutes total to do the application, kind of babysit it for a while. Um, the second coat application is no different. We do have footage of that later, so we'll show that in a little bit. Okay, so we're out here on our third day now, doing a our final coat of stain. Uh, we first started off with cleaning out all the windows up top, um, just with window cleaner. And then we brushed the, the top section again. Now with that top section, you could go one of two ways. You could either mask it off with um, tape and plastic and then spray it, or we just chose to brush the top half and then we use the shield uh, from here down to spray it. So you can see right now the difference between one coat and then the second coat over there. It changes quite a bit. So that's one of the things you have to talk to a customer about after the first day because some people are a little bit worried, like, oh, is this what it's going to look like? No, it's not. You know, it gets a lot deeper, a lot richer after that second coat. And then we can even apply another coat. So it's a good idea after we get done with this coat, before we take off all our masking, to check with them and make sure that this is good enough. Because we can apply a third coat, uh, all the prep work's already done. It doesn't take a lot of time for us to come out here and spray it again. And that'll just uh, darken the color. 
even another shade. So it's good to check with them after you get done with this. You can see that Mitch follows right behind me with the back brush. I'm spraying on a fairly heavy coat, so there's going to be plenty of material to work with. Uh, you're going to want to go end to end uh, with the grain of the wood. And since this door is paneled, there's those uh, cracks in between each panel. You're going to want to check those, make sure there's no drips coming out. We eventually will raise these doors up so that they can dry flat and out of the elements for a little bit. Uh, but you just kind of want to check them and make sure that you're not going to have any drips for about 10 minutes. We're also painting the trim around this garage door. We raised the garage doors up. We're gonna get the trim scraped, sanded, peel bond primed, and top coated with paint. Hopefully we can leave these garage doors up for a few hours. It's better if the homeowner's home um, to let them know, uh, just so it can stay out of the elements for a few hours. The crew came back the following day to get those sashes installed. They just used some double-sided sticky tape again on the sash to get those uh, stuck to the window. Um, so you can see that with uh, a wood garage door after two coats application, you're gonna have some variations, some darker areas, some lighter areas. Now, if we were to apply a third coat or fourth coat, it's gonna start to minimize that. You're gonna get a little bit more uniformity, but a lot of people can appreciate how uh, it has more of that natural wood look. It's just something that you'll wanna talk to the homeowner about uh, after that second coat uh, to make sure that they like it, because we can apply multiple coats for an additional charge, and uh, it's really not that much extra work. So. That concludes the um, garage door refinishing video process. Uh, if you had not already watched the sanding or the stripping videos, uh, that is in the first and second part uh, of this video series. So you want to check those out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.